Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't make it and be part of this uh, conference in Guadarrama in Madrid. I would have loved to join, but as you know, things have been developed uh, uh, fastly in Egypt, uh, whereby I should be uh, staying uh, for any further developments. <coughs> the situation in Egypt simply is as you know, we have the revolution on the 25th of January 2011 and we all have been working out this, uh, let's say, democratic transition uh, and it has been ended by electing president uh, who is legitimate, we cannot deny this fact, uh, but what we have seen since the Islamists have been taking over whether they got the, when they got the majority in the uh, parliament or uh, as a president, they were uh, more uh, trying to consolidate powers um, uh, rather than trying to include others, uh, partners of the revolutions. Um, we have seen that they were actually uh, ignoring most of the opposition's uh, needs to try to work out um, uh, a real national dialogue whereby we could uh, try to deal with Egypt, uh, I would say, uh, crisis and challenges. Uh, they only, uh, uh, let's say, have been more um, depending on those whom they belong to their Muslim Brotherhood uh, group um, and those whom they trust rather than uh, those who are qualified or those who are uh, of uh, experience, you know. And that's why we have seen um, deterioration in most of Egypt, uh, I would say, um, uh, position economically, politically, socially. Uh, people have been, somehow they have hope that they will try to bring people together. Actually, what we have seen so far during one year that they make people divided uh, by uh, somehow speaking about those Islamists and those non-Islamists or liberals or seculars uh, and they actually uh, have been somehow uh, misbehaving uh, whether with some of the Arab countries in the Gulf area uh, whom they have been always uh, friends of Egypt, supporting Egypt, uh, they felt in the Gulf uh, countries that they are really trying to export this sort of um, Islamic revolutions to their country. Uh, so actually people whom you see now in the streets, they are full of anger, frustrations, because they believe that they lost hope they believe that uh, they have no place. Uh, they are calling the president to step down because they believe that his leg uh, legitimacy comes from the people. Yes, of course, the man have, um, as I said before, have got legit legitimacy through the ballot box, but, uh, uh, you know, legitimacy through the ballot box is a fact as long as you respect the constitution as long as you respect rule of law and also you respect others uh, whether opposition or minorities uh, which uh, have not been happening so far now what we see now is the president is again stubborn uh, somehow um, protected by his own supporters his own people uh, whom they are now calling for uh, jihad, calling for uh, uh, violence uh, the army actually, uh, what the army is doing, it's not a coup. No, the army have no interest to be back in the political scene and they have been indicating this uh, many times. But what uh, the army can do if people, as you see, millions in the streets everywhere in Egypt, and those millions actually are normal and ordinary Egyptians. They are not actually uh, those who are belonging to the old regime or they are belonging to some of those political parties. No, they are going out because they are fed up. They are saying enough is enough. 
we have felt during this year that Egypt have lost its identity as a civil state uh, and they feel that uh, you know if we keep on uh, until his term is, is, is ended three years more then maybe we will end up like uh, Somalia or like Iran so people are really fighting for their freedom fighting for the identity of their country uh, so we expect that uh, the army together with all political forces including some Islamists who have been somehow uh, reasonable and those who are really willing to sit and talk to work out a, a, a road map a map for the future to try to uh, start again with a new constitution and to call for a real democratic transition where everyone can be part of it and this is what we hope uh, to do on the coming let's say days we are not uh, excluding anyone or no one is is calling for this whether islamist or any others no they are all welcome as long as they understand that this is an exceptional moment uh, and and we all have to to be united to overcome this problem of course there have been many incidents and many uh, i would say um, uh, situations have been happening during this year of course time uh, will not help me to to say uh, much but maybe there will be another chance where we can uh, uh, talk about it more in details but i just want you to understand that what you see in egypt today it's a kind of correction correction of uh, a past which was somehow uh, we all make mistakes and we were all actually uh, hoping that uh, we would uh, have stability and we would have a sort of uh, a peaceful um, uh, peaceful way on the coming i would say months and years but i think time that we should say enough and we have to make corrections and uh, we have to call of course for uh, 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 parliamentary elections and maybe presidential elections uh, on, on, on the correct constitutions which will have consensus from everyone so uh, I hope that you understand that what is going on in Egypt it's not um, a coup it's not against legitimacy no uh, it's a correction which we need to do to make sure that uh, that Egypt would be in the right track in the coming uh, years so uh, i hope that this will end peacefully we will see no violence we will see no any kind of confrontations or any kind of clashes here and there um, uh, we all care about ca our country we all uh, asking our friends friends of egypt to support this democratic change uh, and uh, I hope that uh, this, as I said, will end up soon.